Having spent a very long time playing this video game made me wonder how the engine is simulated. Made me wonder how does a game manage to feel so realistic while being only a game. So I loaded my last racing project, made a new map and decided to try recreating the feeling that Forza Horizon gives. Not realizing that making a racing simulator requires a stable camera system. But we'll cover that in another episode. Back to our project. We're gonna take a look at how the power curves can be simulated using animation curves. This is an animation curve. In Unity it is mostly used to control object position while following a curve in a given time which at first might be a little confusing. And as you might have guessed, we're gonna use that to control our engine RPM. As a sample vehicle, we'll use this Nismo GTR. The required components for making a engine variable are a final drive variable, a current gear array indicator, the wheels RPM as a absolute value, and a way to smoothly transition between those values. We'll use a built-in smooth damp function. The exact formula can be found in the video description down below. After that we'll need an automatic gear shifter that is based on the current RPM indicator. Once the RPM value is calculated it must be passed to a total power of the vehicle variable and this is where we use the animation curve. The total power variable must be equal to the engine RPM evaluated by the animation curve times the final drive times the acceleration indicator. And since the Nismo GTR is a 4 wheel drive car the total power must be split to 4. After trying out the code and messing with the values, here's what I came up with. The last thing we'll add is a maximum revs engine mechanism, and we'll do that by lerping the engine RPM. That can also be found down in the video description. Having a lerping mechanism is one step closer to the realistic engine simulation. But of course Forza has more sophisticated algorithms for doing so. A while back I had searched so long for engine simulations but found nothing. No one seemed to be sharing their work. So I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And of course, look after yourselves. 